Hey, you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilt and Crafts with SEK. All right, family, I got block number nine done, the Peony Star. All right, you guys, so this was a fun block to do. I exercised one of the skills called fussy cutting, and I put a little rose in the middle. So, let's talk about it. So, this block consisted of five fabrics. I used five, but there's a part of me that wish I would have thrown in one more um, fabric that would have had this block flow even better. I love the eight-point star that's in there. I love the way the outer blocks is looking. What I would change is the middle section. I should have used... A different color of rectangles in each one of my corners one two three four and if I would have used like a blue or even a lighter color I would have been able to break up the red and made the other inner star actually pop out but that's okay I'm cool with that but I think on my next block I'm gonna do the the um same thing i said about the other block just switch out um to see how it would look and i know if i switch this one out like i want to do um the block number eight i'm sure i will get that double star that i want to see but overall i love the um the color wave i did pull um some of the um similar fabrics from the other block which was block eight and totally different colors. I told you guys my blocks will be looking totally different from what they look like in the book. So a lot of skills was exercised in this block. A lot of piecing, the fussy cutting, the uh chain, um, the chain stitching, um, nesting. My nesting skills are getting a whole lot better, you guys. So I am following the direction of which way to push the fabrics. That is getting extremely better. I am remembering to follow the directions in the book and push those fabrics which way they need to go. So that is definitely helping me improve with my nesting and also my pressing. My square it up skills is getting um, much better. I actually used a uh, six, one of my rulers for the first time, a six, uh, six, six inch square. And the blocks in the corners was, was the six inch squares. So I was able to use that ruler for the first time. Um, I love the way the corner blocks came out. My points was de definitely on point. They are sharp. Um, this, this block actually had a border too. See the border around it. So, um, that was a lot of fun too. So overall, I did enjoy this block. It was very easy, um, to put together. Like I said before, the more I travel throughout this book, the easier the blocks are becoming, um, and the tighter my, um, skills are getting. So I'm going to be off to block number 10, which is the ribbon star. And this one consists of three fabrics, which I probably will make it real scrappy and probably bring in more than um, three fabrics. We'll see. So this block number nine, Peony Star, is supposed to be two identical of these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the book, come back. If I, if I still have energy and didn't get bored, I want to go back through the book and do each one of the blocks that required two blocks or three blocks um, so that I can change them up. And I'm going to take some notes on which ones I want to change up and kind of like revamp on the color placements. Uh, now I see why quilters take a lot of notes too. So I'm going to do that in my book so that I can get a totally different look um, on each one of the blocks that I want to do over. So that's what block number nine is looking like, Peony Star. You guys come in. I'm happy about my little fussy cut right there. And then when I looked at it, I said, dang, did I have a blue? Did I have a blue flower like that somewhere around? 
Uh, probably so. <laughs> All right, you guys. So Peony um, Star is looking like this in the book. I told you guys, totally different. My block did size up to be a 16 by 16. So my squaring up is getting much better. And my measuring is getting tight too. So we're going to be moving on to block number 10, which is the ribbon star. And like I said, this one requires three fabrics. And I'm thinking about throwing in more than three. We'll see. I'm going to um, definitely be working on getting these scraps down. Y'all see them scraps? <laughs> Mouths of scraps. So I'm going to be working on getting those done. Um, well, not getting them done, but getting it down. So this block probably will be scrappy too. All right, family. So this is SEK the Homesteader. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know if you guys is working on the same sampler um, quilt. Quilt top, the Barn Star sampler. It's called 20 Stary Blocks and se uh, 7 Spectacular Quilts. So this is what we are working on. Give you guys a refreshing look. Shelly Cavana. And this book has been selling out pretty much everywhere. I had to wait on this book. So I was happy to get that book. All right, you guys. So this is SEK, the Crazy Quilts and Crafter. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Make sure you guys thumbs up, like, hit the um, subscribe button, notification button, so you guys will not miss a video. Make sure you guys leave me a comment. Um, if you guys want to send me some suggestions, suggestions is always welcome. And I want to say thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Keep on blocking, baby. Peace.